Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're making this tuna caddo. In order to make this, you'll need one tin of tuna. This will make around two, two tuna caddos, okay? So you'll need two to three tablespoons of mayonnaise and a quarter teaspoon of mustard. It'll also require salt and pepper as per taste. You can add more or less, it's up to you. We'll also need a quarter of a red onion, finely chopped, and one tablespoon of jalapenos chopped up. We'll also need two tablespoons of pesto. You'll also require an avocado. So we've just sliced this up as you can see on screen. And you'll also need tomatoes. So we've used one large tomato for this. We'll also need panini bread. So, bread of your choice, you can use pita bread, whatever you've got handy. So now what we'll do is we'll add our salt and pepper to our tuna. And once the salt and pepper has been added, we're just going to mix it and flake it up a little bit. Just like you can see on screen. And now what we'll do is we'll add in our mayonnaise and our mustard paste. Once we've added that in, again we'll just mix it all together. We'll also add in our onions and jalapenos now. And once we've added that, we'll just mix it all together and ensure it's all nicely mixed in, as you can see on screen. So our tuna mixture is now ready. We'll pop this to the side now. We'll add in the pesto to the bread now. Um, we'll just smooth it all over the bread, as you can see. We'll just smooth that all over and just make sure it's all over the bread. One side is now done, and you just do the other side as well. And there you have it, the pesto has now been added all over. So that's perfect, and now we can add in the tuna. So we'll just spoon in the tuna now and just spread it all over, just like that. Okay, so the tuna has been added, and that's that done. So the next stage is we're going to add in tomatoes. So we'll add in the tomatoes now, and then we'll top this with avocado slices. That's been added. What we can do is we can just pop the lid of the bread on, and we can add this to a panini press. Or you can pop it under the grill, it's up to you, whatever is easier for you. But we're just going to... Put this in a panini press now. So just pop it into there and ensure it's nice and hot. So we just close this now and cook it for a couple of minutes. Look at that, it's just heating away nicely. And there we have it, our tuna caddos are ready. So this is obviously a Joe and the Juice inspired recipe. A great lunch idea. It's delicious, easy to make and it's quite healthy I would say as well. So try this recipe out and let us know of how it tasted. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.